activity of our hike. It is 20 past nine and we're on four and a half miles and we're heading to a town of Alston, which I think is six or seven miles away, maybe five, not too sure. Um, but we're heading there for food. We went into a tiny village last night of Greenhead and everything was closed. There's nothing there anyway. There was a hotel that was fully booked, didn't get any food. I managed to get a brownie off of them, uh, but we didn't have any dinner. And all I've got now is a handful of peanuts. <laughs> So I'm pretty, pretty hungry. So I'm pushing to Alston. I know they got a co-op there. So we're gonna hit the co-op hard and uh, stuff my face and I can't wait. <laughs> coast I thought they were coastal birds but it's always nice to see an oyster catcher very very nice place to eat we're in a little village of Slaggyford which is an awesome name for a village. A cafe and a little train carriage. Oh, amazing. And the guys that run it are really, really nice. Let us charge everything up and we had some cakes and some Pringles. So we got a little bit of food uh, to get us to Alston now. So we're about five miles from Alston, but I'm still planning to go to the co-op and stuff my face full of food. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> and we saw a real live steam engine, which is- Yeah, awesome. steam train came in, which was awesome. along the path and then uh, there's these people recording a podcast and they went oh you're walking down the Pennine Way and we were like uh, kind of we're going John and Groats to Land's End and, and oh, can we interview you for a podcast called Country Stride um, so all of a sudden we were being interviewed about our hike to Land's End and uh, yeah and then they were just speaking to us about it and they were really cool and one of the guys there what was his name Isaac Isaac he, he made the Isaac Tea Trail which is a local trail around here but yeah he created it which was cool he's a really cool guy so uh yeah that was uh that was all a bit random but we're on a podcast now and i think it gets released in a couple of weeks called Con country stride past six and um, we're on 13 miles walk for the day. I'm just coming out of the town of Alston now and I am really full up because I stuffed my face from the co-op. Lots of cheese wraps and cereal and crisps and all sorts. So it's very nice. So we're coming out of Alston along the river. Uh, the next town is Gary Gill, which isn't too far away, uh, but we're just taking it easy. a bit of all weather today it's been sunny windy on and off raining it's currently raining again and then it, yeah it's just been all over the place so i managed to plot a route over this river without getting wet feet which is pretty cool and now i'm on an island and the Pennine Way is just over there, it's not far away and now I've got another little stream to cross and then we go up into the, the tiny little area. So it's 9 o'clock and we made it about 17 miles today, uh, so a bit easier than yesterday and uh, found a lovely place to camp so 
the Pennine Way is roughly where that wall is there and there's a river here that we managed to get across and then there's another little stream that we managed to get across and we found this awesome little area with no livestock and it's just green on the map so there's nothing going on with it and there's no footpaths as well and uh, which is cool and uh, just put the tent up just here and there's these trees which is protecting it from the wind so it's a perfect place to camp and uh, we're about one mile one mile from a town called Gary Gill but yeah it was a tough morning and then yeah it's a very strange encounter we have been interviewed to be on a podcast that was really cool and, uh, yeah it's uh, been a really nice hiking day today so there's a few midges here so I'm gonna get in the tent get a nice early night